Hi everyone, it's Patty here. Uh, it's February 28th, 2022, and I thought I'd do a special floss tube today and show you um, the bell pulls that my husband and I make. Um, I have some finished and I have some that need to be finished and some that I would like to do. And uh, so we'll get started. I'm going to go by my, um, uh, I have a PDF of our, um, of all the bell pulls we do and their prices and everything. If you would like a copy of it, just send me a message down below or you can uh, email me. I'll have my email down below as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, I can uh, ship you off one. Okay, we'll get started in one minute. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to get a, uh, a drink because <clears throat> I've got a tickle in my throat, as always. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start off with, um, this is a Lizzie Cates pattern. I stitched this, uh, oh, what is it, 2013. But this is our house and home. So there's the house. And down below you have a choice of family. We also have friends that we did for a customer, or you can personalize it um, with your last name. And this is the finish here. You know. So at our house, we do real, we do mistakes, we do I'm sorry, we do do-overs, we do fun, we do forgiveness, we do loud really well, we do hugs, we do patience, we do family, we do love. That's, uh, at the time, this was my, one of my favorites. It hangs on my wall all the time. And, uh, but I have a new favorite, unfortunately. <laughs> or is it, uh, fortunately? <laughs> I don't know if I have enough walls for all of these. I have a little, a little visitor here. He's going to try and help me, um, by knocking over my pile. Patches. Patches. Hey, don't knock over the pile. Don't knock over the pile. Okay, the next one is in our Halloween. And this one is a Stony Creek pattern called um, Halloween. Uh, unfortunately, I messed up with the by not measuring my fabric well enough and I had to adjust the pattern a little bit so if you know the pattern you'll see that it's not quite the way the pattern is but anyways this is our haunted house okay. and then down below the bottom part says boo and then There's the H. There's a lot of uh, glow-in-the-dark floss on here that really glows. It's really kind of cool. Oh, sorry. I love her hair. Uh, yeah, it's dimensional there. There's the W, and this is where I had to adjust the pattern, so like I said, if you know the pattern, you'll see that mine is not quite the same as the pattern, but it works. I finished this one with ribbon along, along the edge, and I always either have iron-on fusing on the back or fabric, just to protect the stitching. Uh, roll the other way. The next one is the witch's hat and boots. So there's the witch's hat. There are her boots. And this one is a Stony Creek as well. And it says, have needle and thread, then have no dread. For ghosts and goblins flee, 
at the sight of a stitchy witch stabbing her exes with glee. And she has the same funky hair. I had lots of fun with this one. Similar um, cat and stuff to the uh, Halloween. I really like Stony Creek uh, patterns. I have quite a few of them. So next we have the snowflakes. So there's the top of the bell pull and then the bottom would be smaller snowflakes. And then there is this one is my all-time favorite bell pole that I've done. Okay, this one is topped with the snowman. And the bottom is the same as the snowflakes, it has just the three smaller. These are Lizzie Kate's six fat men and six Six fat men and six it's the women too, but I can't think of what that one's called. Anyways, I merged them together with the with the extras that you were allowed um, on her site. So there's snow days, maybe it's cold outside, snow friends. I think the birdhouse there, the little one, whoops, was a freebie from her site. Same with the snowflakes there. Snow fun. Um, I think the trees were a freebie from her page. Frosty friends. And then ready for snow. Whoop. <laughs> oh, hold on one sec. Here, let me go down and then we'll be able to show you the end part. And then someone melt my heart all dressed up. Let it snow. Yeah, I just took this one down to uh, change it off with, with other ones and yeah, it always makes me sad. <laughs> but we're hoping spring is here soon because I'm tired of, of winter. The next is um, Christmas. Um, we have two versions of this one. So this is the white Christmas tree. This is uh, Lizzie Kate's Christmas Rules, my own version of it. So treasure family, welcome friends, hang mistletoe, honor traditions, Keep that schedule light. Fa la la as you decorate. Give more than you get. Be kind and of, and of good cheer. Listen for reindeer and give Santa milk and cookies. And I put a little bit of, there's a little bit of buttons on here and stuff. So this can have snowflakes on the bottom or you can do it in green. This is kind of a sparkly green. Um, it'll look black in here, but uh, it is look like a really dark green. And it, um, my lighting is not the best in here, but it's a dark green and it has, it has some metallic sparkle. This is um, Stony Creek's Christmas. The bottom of this one has Ho Ho Ho. And these have little carrot noses. Okay, I'm going to roll it down this way. I can. So I really enjoy doing this one. Um, 
each of these little snowmen is like a finish so it's this one with a little baby so yeah so I'll roll this one back up that's how I put them away sometimes I take the bell poles off but I have bins for my seasonal stuff and uh, that's how I pack them away is just like that Okay, we have um, a few new ones. One I have a picture of and one I do not. This one um, has a very sharp point to it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Come on. Let go. This just has a topper to it. And it's our manger scene. sold a couple of these ones uh, last year. I have to be really careful wrapping them because that star is pretty wicked. But, uh, I put tape around it so that it doesn't poke through. That's, I don't have a finish for that one yet. The other one that we, uh, I can show you just a little picture of it. It's a reindeer with ho ho ho. We haven't cut one of those out yet. We also have one um, for a, a, we did it as a, a fireman. Um, it was a customer request. Um, she had a friend who was graduating from for being a firefighter and she had done a cross stitch for them so we did this one it's the uh, fireman's hat and then the bottom part was personalized with his last name um, then we had some that were done for teachers gifts and that's the uh, one two three pardon me one two three four the apple and then abc and then <coughs> Excuse me, one sec here. And then we also did one for a uh, cancer survivor. And we did that in um, breast cancer pink. Okay, now we have to, uh, my daughter did turtles all the way down. Um, it's a well done. I think. I think it is. Anyways, this is the topper. Oh, hold on one second. Hey. So there's the topper. And there's the bottom. And I have a picture of hers. One sec here. I was going to ask her for it and I didn't catch her before. She works graveyard shift and she had gone to bed already. But there's the picture of hers. And then we have one for Paris. It's the Eiffel Tower and down below it says Paris. Uh, we haven't um, we did that as a, for a customer, but she changed her mind and never responded to the email, so that was fine. The next one is a sampler that my daughter made for us. It's a Lizzie Kate, and we finished it with the heart topper, and the same is for the bottom, and it's a good marriage. And that's a Lizzie Kate. And it says, a good marriage must be created. The things are the, the little things are the big things. You're never too old to hold hands. Remember to say I love you every day. Don't go to bed angry. 
say words of appreciation and gratitude, forgive and forget, give each other a safe place to grow. Marriage is not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Joe and Patty, 12-10-1982. So this year will be our 40th wedding anniversary. And then uh, she added, together forever. On our honeymoon we went to Calgary. We went to the Calgary Tower and uh, at the time they had these computer generated things where they would take a picture of you and the little dot metrics type looking thing and below it said together forever so she and I, I still have that and so she added that to uh, to the bottom of our our bell pull. Sorry I had to get a little drink I had another tickle. The next one is um, Canada. Um, my husband did this one for me so it says Canada at the top our home and land at the bottom and then these are all the provinces of Canada so British Columbia Alberta Saskatchewan Manitoba Ontario Quebec New Brunswick Nova Scotia Prince Edward Island Newfoundland, Yukon Territories, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut Territories. And I put a flag at the very bottom. And this I did in 2017 and Canada was 150 years old. I finished it with maple leaves so that's our Canada one now um, we have a tree of life as well and it can have you at the base of the tree can have your last name put in I don't have a sample of that we only did that one as a um, customer order we also have ones for dogs and cats I have a dog paw here I can show you There's the dog paw, and then the bottom can be your dog's name, and then the cat's the same. The top is the cat's, and it can be personalized as well. Um, two ways, it can be personalized here with just a topper, or it can be personalized leaving the topper like this and having the pet's name at the base. <clears throat> this one is also a Lizzie Cates. This is kind of a, I call it a tulip scroll. Uh, it's kind of like a miscellaneous type one. Could go for anything. And the top and the bottom are the same. And these are is a Lizzie Kate dream, love, remember, give, listen and learn, believe, and care, encourage, laugh, create, and live. I stitched this quite a few years ago, finally got it finished. It has the ribbon along the edge as well, and then just the iron-on fusing in the center. You can get some iron-on fusing that's like, um, it's like white cotton. And that's what I use when I'm just like not going to finish the backing. <clears throat> we also have a new one this year that my husband just did and it's a sandcastle. <clears throat> and then the last one I'm going to show you today is the bead high. 
So this is the top. The bees in it. And then the bottom is some hives with a bee as well. There's a bee right here. Sorry. There, now you can see it. <clears throat> and I haven't finished my, or haven't started yet, my uh, cross stitch to go with that one. We also have quilt toppers. We have one with holly. Um, if you guys watch Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch, she has um, a Christmas one she finished using our topper. And then we've also done um, ones with um, leaves and flowers and stuff on them. I have a few samples that are in the back of the, uh, of the little PDF catalog. I have a couple here that I'll show quick before I go. Um, that I've finished but just haven't fully finished them yet. I think this one is by Jardin Privé. It's a free one. I did it a while ago. The Ways to Happiness. Keep your heart free from hate, your mind from worry. Live simple, expect little, give much, scatter sunshine, forget self, and think of others. And I think that one really kind of goes with today's life. This one, um, I was born the day before St. Patrick's Day. Actually, I was almost born on St. Patrick's Day. And I was named for the Irish, hence the name Patty. So I did the Irish blessing. May your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow and may trouble avoid you wherever you go. My husband's going to make me um, a small bell pull with um, Celtic knots on it for that one. Then there is the seasonal snowman that I finished and this will stay up in my home year round. And it starts with spring. Summer. fall and winter <laughs> now winter I changed because I only have two children and they had three I added the two children and a cat because we've always had a cat <laughs> so and that is uh, Families are four seasons because love doesn't melt. That is a Stony Creek. It was in uh, four different Stony Creek magazines that I had, um, but it's also available as a one pamphlet, one you can buy um, on the Stony Creek website. The last one um, is going to be finished with some quilting around it. And my husband is doing a sewing machine top topper for this and it is this one is called teddy bear repair i just didn't put the words down below i put beads on it uh, i could never figure out this cow camera the beads whoops over here have um beads on the top of them to make them look like um, they had he, top of stop that. the tops of uh, come here, here. Hey, look look anyways that's our catalog and that's our bell pulls that we make and uh, and that's patches <laughs> passing through <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the, um, the bill pulls that we do. And if you see something you like, please don't hesitate to uh, get in touch with me. And if you don't see something you like, you know, like ask.
You'll, we'll never know if we can do it unless you ask us. All right. Take care, everybody. Hugs from Patty. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.